Hello, welcome to Cloud Learning Channel. In this module, we will learn how to load data into Azure Synapse table from Amazon S3. In our previous sessions, we learned how to load our data into Amazon S3 and uh, how to create buckets in S3 and how to load data into S3 bucket and how do we create access keys and uh, to give um, authorization to Azure to load data from S3 into Azure ADLS. But in this session, we will directly load our Amazon S3 data into Azure Synapse table. And uh, I'll show you how to do this exercise. And we are doing this exercise using Synapse Studio. And I will show you how to create table uh, in Azure. I will log into Azure portal now. I'm in the Azure portal. And to do this exercise, uh, we need Azure storage account. Uh, we need Azure Synapse workspace. And we need Azure dedicated SQL pool. So I deployed these services in Azure. So let me quickly review what services I have available in Azure. So I will go to Azure Synapse and I deployed this Synapse workspace and I created a dedicated SQL pool that is uh, the data warehouse size is 100. And I'll go back to resource group and I have a storage account available here and I created a container. Um, account file zero one. This is my container name. Uh, let me go to AWS console and here my bucket in Amazon S3 and I will open this and I have this eight travel data available. So now I will go back to Azure Synapse Studio and if you click on this, it will open Synapse Studio. So I already have a couple of uh, tabs open. That is Synapse Studio. So if you click on integrate, then uh, it gives you like you no know, list of pipelines that you already have. So in our earlier session, uh, I showed you guys how to do how to copy a data from AWS to ADLS. And in this exercise, uh, we have to create a new pipeline that um, uh, loads data from S3 into Synapse dedicated pool. So let me open another tab. Uh, I have a dedicated SQL pool available, but let me see if I have any tables available. So I don't have any tables available, but I want to load data from that eight travel data into Azure Synapse table. So for that, I need to create a, uh, a table. Let me click on a new SQL script and empty script. Once we click on this, it will create a new tab so that we can enter our uh, SQL query. And here you can see that options, are, it is connected to dedicated SQL pool and use a database as database 01 dedicated. So now if you want to store this SQL script, uh, you can, you can uh, give a name and store this, but let me create a table. So I will create a, a travel data. So I have, a, a, let me open what I have in this uh, eight travel data in Amazon. So in Amazon S3, I have a file, eight travel data that has uh, four attributes, month, year 1958, 1959, 1960. And in the month, I have all the list of months here. And in the year, I have a list of uh, number of passengers that travel in that particular month in the year. So now I will load this data into Azure Synapse table directly using Synapse Studio pipeline. So here I'm creating a table. Uh, I'm creating a table name, a travel. I'll just say uh, a travel and a month name, uh, a var character 20 and year 1958. Of our character 59 1960 and distribution i'm using replicate since this is a small table under 2gb and cluster index is month length so i will create this table in azure synapse dedicated sql pool okay so now the query executed successfully So now let me refresh this. 
a dedicated SQL pool and let me see if I have a table already available. Here, if you see uh, on my left, you ha uh, we have a table available that uh, month name and year 1958, 59, 60 and all that characters. Now, I will I already have a new tab open, Snap Studio. Now, I need to create a pipeline that can bring data from S3 and load into this Synapse 8 travel data. Uh, click on this uh, plus icon and you see that pipeline, click on pipeline. So now I need to give a name to this pipeline. I will say this um, load data from AWS S3 into Synapse table. So this is my pipeline name. I will enter a description or data from Amazon S3 into Azure Synapse table. And I will look for copy activity. So drag it here and click on copy data. I will say copy from S3 into Synapse table and go to source. And I already created a source data set that is the source linked service available to S3. So I will show you uh, what are the connections. So here you can see that this is a linker service that I created Amazon S3 that is a source connection. And I have a file available um, in Amazon S3 bucket. So here is the bucket name and here is the file name. I'll quickly go to management console S3. And here it is, you can see that this is my bucket name, AWS to Azure account 01, and this is the file name. And you see the same thing here, uh, file path and file name. I will close this. I selected this and everything looks good here. And I will move to a sync. So, and I need to create a, a new linker service. And let me uh, select my target as a dedicated SQL pool. And you can just go here and here you can see that Azure Synapse dedicated SQL pool is my target. Click on continue and just say this is a Synapse. A Synapse dedicated linker service. And let me select the SQL pool. And here you can see that the table names are loading. And let me select that A travel is my table name. That is where we're loading data from S3. Okay, now click OK. And everything looks good here. And I will move to next tab and mapping. So let me import the schema. And if we want to make any changes in mapping, we can do that. So here the source column one and month name and the the next one is uh, yeah, 1958 and the next attribute 59, 1960. And everything looks good. If you want to like, you know, delete, you can select and delete. But if you want to add, you can click on uh, add new mapping, but, uh, but we are good. Everything looks good here. So I'll move to next one. And I, I need to enable staging to, load data into uh, Synapse table. So we need to enable staging and also we need to uh, select the staging account linker service that we already have available that ADLS Gen2. I selected Gen2 and I need to select the storage path for this uh, staging and I will select this container and click OK. So everything uh looks good here we enable staging and we selected the staging account linker service and we selected storage path now before we publish and we can just run it in a debug and once we uh everything everything looks good if our pipeline is successful in debug and we can publish we can publish and run it or we can run it in debug mode so i will run this in a debug mode So now it is running under debug mode. 
and here you can see the input uh, just expand this input and here you can see that the type is delimited text so text source and the source is amazon s3 and here you can see that uh, the column one string month name and then 1958 and all the details you can see what is coming from the, the source and open this google and the first step is completed uh, load data from amazon s3 to uh, adls uh, that is first step and also second step is also completed and it took um, about eight okay let me just refresh i just took 30 seconds and this is completed now let's go back to um, a Synapse Studio. I know we I know we are in a Synapse Studio, but I want to keep this page open. This pipeline is open and go to next tab. And now I want to open a new query window and just click on dedicated SQL pool, new SQL script, and click on empty script. So now I need to see if I have data available in this uh, eight travel table. I will say select start from dbo dot a travel. Now just run this query. Yes, we have data available in this Synapse table. It was quick and and Synapse Studio Pipeline did it quick and which we are able to see the data available and we can see all the months available here. And if you want to export these results, you can just click on a CSV and you can export. So here you can see that uh, it is already uh, generated a result set. So this is how uh, we can uh, load data from S3 into Synapse table uh, directly. I will, I will quickly review the, the changes that we did uh, during this exercise. So we already have we already have a storage account available, and we have a Synapse workspace available. And I already created a dedicated SQL pool before this exercise. So here you can see that under the SQL pools, the dedicated SQL pool available, and uh, the minimum uh, the performance I selected is uh, the minimum one data warehouse units hundred. But if you want to scale up you can always scale up or uh, down and it supports um, up to uh, 30,000 just click on 30,000 but 100 is uh, fine since this is just a demo purpose and once we have all these services and I went to uh, Synapse Studio and I created a table a travel table with all the attributes and after that, I moved to a Synapse Studio Integrate and created a pipeline. And I used this copy activity and I established source connection and target connection. And I did a mapping. And under the settings, I enabled staging. And if you, you, you have to make sure you enable staging if you want to load data directly from sourcing to Synapse table. And I ran this in debug, but everything looks good. I published these changes and I want to keep these changes uh, available uh, next time. If you have any questions on how to load data from Amazon S3 into Azure Synapse table, please post uh, your questions in the comment section. I will try to reply as soon as possible. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.